I am R. Prabha, Assistant Professor in the Department of EC, SNS College of Technology. In this video, we will discuss the topic Transverse Electromagnetic Waves for the course Transmission Lines and Antennas. So now we are going to see the three uh, waves comparison. There are three types of uh, electromagnetic waves. One is called T waves where electric field in the direction of wave propagation is zero. And uh, next type of wave is called TM waves where the magnetic field in the direction of wave propagation is zero. And the third classification is transverse electromagnetic waves in which both the electric and magnetic fields in the direction of wave propagation is zero. For example, if we are assuming the electric, uh, the direction of wave propagation is z direction, then for T wave EZ is zero but HZ not equal to zero. For TM wave, HZ is 0 but EZ not equal to 0. TM wave, both EZ and HZ 0. And uh, we know the T wave fields, there are three fields, two magnetic fields, HX, HZ and one electric field. So, the lowest possible value of uh, T wave is T10. Uh, and uh, now, for uh, substituting M is equal to 0 in the above case, all the fields will vanish because all have sign comp component. In the third field HZ, M is in multiplication factor. So all the fields will vanish and uh, this wave is called TEM wave where both EZ and HZ are zero. And uh, so TEM wave is special case of TEM wave for M is equal to zero is, uh, and EZ zero, HZ zero. And, uh, uh, this special case of wave or mode is known as transverse electromagnetic wave or mode or it is also called as principal wave. It is the familiar type of wave propagated along all ordinary two conductor transmission lines operating in low frequency. And uh, its fields are EZ, HY, EX, we are substituting M is equal to uh, 0. So, it makes HZ0, EZ0, EX is beta C4 omega epsilon into E power minus J beta Z. HY is C4 E power minus J beta bar Z. And uh, now we are going to derive the characteristics of TEM waves. As the first characteristics, its phase constant beta. For M is equal to 0, beta general expression root of omega square mu epsilon minus M pi by A the whole square. Uh, for TEM wave, M is equal to 0. By substituting M value 0, we get beta is equal to omega root of mu epsilon. Beta varies linearly with frequency and therefore wave propagation takes place without any dispersion. And second parameter is the phase velocity. Phase velocity formula is omega by beta. Omega is substituted, beta is omega root mu epsilon. So, numerator and denominator both have omega value get cancelled. So, we have 1 by root of mu epsilon. Suppose the medium between the waveguide is air medium. Mu is substituted as mu naught, epsilon is substituted as epsilon naught. So, in that case, phase velocity V pH is equal to 1 by root of mu naught epsilon naught is nothing but C. Uh, that is uh, the velocity of uh, light in free space. And third parameter is guide wavelength lambda g. Lambda g formula is 2 pi by d beta. That is uh, the wavelength of the wave. So through the waveguide. Uh, so 2 pi by beta is omega root mu epsilon. So it is uh, 2 pi. Omega is substituted as 2 pi. So 2 pi 2 pi get cancelled. We have uh, c by f. So now the fourth parameter is its cutoff frequency. Cutoff frequency is the frequency at which the wave motion stops. Below the cutoff frequency, no wave will propagate uh, for any type of waveguide. So for TM wave, cutoff frequency general formula M by 2A root of mu epsilon. For transverse electromagnetic wave, since M value is 0, the cutoff frequency also 0. So below zero frequency, no wave will propagate. And the next characteristics, wave impedance is that TEM is EX by HY. So EX beta C4, HY is omega epsilon C4, 
C4, C4 get cancelled, uh, we get the answer beta by omega epsilon as uh, ZTEM wave that is impedance of transverse electromagnetic wave and uh, we know beta is omega root of mu epsilon it is substituted in the impedance equation we get root of mu by epsilon as eta naught for air dielectric eta naught is the free space uh, impedance 125 ohms and uh, this is the electric and magnetic fields of transverse electromagnetic wave in H xy plane uh, these are uh, the field configuration of electric and magnetic fields in XZ plane. Now, the assessment question differentiate transverse electromagnetic wave from TE and TM wave. We know that TEM wave uh, components, the electric and magnetic fields are zero in the direction of wave propagation. Whereas in TE wave, electric field in the direction of wave propagation is zero. For transverse magnetic waves, magnetic field in the direction of wave propagation is zero. And the cutoff frequency of TEM wave, we know it is zero. Uh, we infer from that uh, is below zero frequency, there will not any wave propagation. And TEM wave is a special case of TEM wave for M value equal to zero. And the wave impedance of TEM wave is equal to the characteristic impedance of free space. This is about TEM wave, transverse electromagnetic wave, it is a special type of wave uh, which will uh, propagate in low frequencies. References, thank you.